Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. So we're starting on this screen because I wanted to show that it's the first episode in the 3.18 beta. This was released, I think, a day or two ago, so it's very new. I did transfer a character over, and according to Sammy, everything works fine. And we still have our house, and our dog, and our quest, and everything. So as for changes, the trading system changed. The interface has changed a little bit, which I like. Looks a lot better now, I think. And the way dates are done changes. It tells you, like, relative to the season, rather than giving you a date with the normal, like, western calendar that it used to use. So there's also a reputation system for villages. Do I have any milk? No, I have water. Close enough. Yeah, we can leave Bob behind. So there's a reputation system with villagers now, and the way shopping and trading has been... it's done has been completely overhauled. It's pretty big, actually. I haven't gotten to play too much with it. Just tested to make sure our save transferred over and that it worked because it's a beta and I've had bad luck with betas in the past at various times. But it seems fine. Probably won't be able to show off too many of the changes right now, but if we find a new village, most of them should come into play. Buried in the bog. I don't remember this one. Strange and intimidating terrain feature. About rare occasions when both people and animals have been sacrificed and buried into peat bogs. Weapons and other items are sometimes hidden or sacrificially buried. Your task now is to sacrificially bury some sort of metal weapon. A knife, sword, or axe. Bogs are also a source of ore, which is used to make iron, and thus the very origin of the iron. Go to the swamp or bog at night, build a fire, and then throw the weapon into the waters of the open bog. This is a gesture of respect for the bog and a way to ritually bond yourself with the iron more closely. Huh. I don't remember that. We got credit for prey in a trap, but I don't see anything in our traps. And there's nothing on the map tile. Okay. So. Not sure if that's glitchy or if it's just that we ever got something in that trap before that is checked. Oh, we already milked her today? Okay. Do I have the rope? No. So I kind of want to go to town just to check on the new trading system. But that requires us to gather some food, I think. So I think the smoke bear cuts are still the newest, freshest, whatever. How long are these going to be here? Yeah, we have plenty of time to dick around. Alright, come on, Bob. Are there any villages on this side that we've come across? It doesn't look like it. No, I guess not. Hmm. Oh, the train system updated too. I just noticed that. It says we're in no man's land south of the seal tribe lands. Cool. Okay, well. Gonna 
grab our punt. With us, Bob. Okay. And our paddle. And we're going to check out this village down here that we've seen along the river. Um, this one. That we saw along the river, but we never actually went to. If I can remember where it is. It's farther south. So somebody said control zero? Yeah, control zero either zooms you all the way out or all the way in. Good. So farther south, and move the mouse. That's pretty handy, actually. Pretty much just north of that village. Come on, Bob. Gonna have to sleep out here, I think. Is it this body of water? Yes, it looks like it. Hey, you with this, Bob? Good. I'm gonna drop a little bit of that and. Oh, they changed the talk command. It's C? No. Capital C? Yeah, it's capital C now. Okay. That's cool. You done eating, Bob? So, wheel our paddle. I think we need to drop the punt and use it like a raft. And Bob will just swim behind us. Where is it? I know it, w it was visible from the shore. So it's over this way. There it is. I see it. We're apparently in their fields. So I don't think we've actually come to this village, so it shouldn't so it shouldn't have any shops or anything because those were taken out. The villages that we have visited before won't be fixed like that, I don't think. So what do you all have? Oh, not too terribly much. This is a pretty small place. Not entirely sure that there's even going to be anything to trade for here outside of those hunters. Yeah, I guess not. Hmm. I don't think I have anything he would be interested in. Not really. Not trading Bob. Bob is our friend. We want to explore a little bit down here since we haven't been here before. There might be another village nearby. The reason I brought Bob is just in case we come across something to hunt. What do you have on you? Things cut, hand axe, two hand axes, hunting knife, loop, snare, and a cord. I'm not too worried about you. You can have your nap. Is 
So yeah, this is probably just going to be an exploration episode from the look of it. I'd like to find a new village just to show how they've changed. Because any village we've visited previously, the uh, shops are still going to be present, or the shop-like storehouses. But they're not going to be functional in the same way, basically. We can show that off later, I guess, but... Ooh, there's a hill over here. Yeah, I don't see anything. Anything interesting, anyway. Ah, there's one. This one looks reasonably large. So the game will catch up. Come on. So yeah, now if we wanted to buy this axe, we just pick it up and talk to somebody to trade for it. Oh, that's nice too. People actually get out of our way now. I didn't know that. And yeah, this guy used to be a shopkeeper. He's just a dude now. Just like a regular person wandering around the town. So yeah, the shops have been replaced with these storehouses. And a shop you just pick up what you need and talk to somebody to trade for it. No, don't climb up with that. Oh, and villagers actually close the doors now. That's interesting. So yeah, there's a reputation system too. I don't know if you can see it just by talking to a stranger though. Good morning, un yeah, unfamiliar tribeswoman. Let's uh, introduce ourselves. That's a little awkward. Okay, so it's not perfect, but there's a reputation system now, which is actually pretty cool. Also, you can um, tell companions, like give them a target to hunt, which is really cool, because before they just sort of took your target. So you can actually have them hunt, like, properly now. Raspberry bushes. I did read the um, change log. It was a, what, news.txt, I think, is what Sammy calls it. So, I am sort of familiar with the changes, but I haven't seen a lot of them yet. Yeah, there's like... Actually, come to think of it... Bob, do you still have those spheres? Yep. I forgot we gave Bob a bunch of javelins. Well, maybe we can get a knife or something for that quest. I think the, uh, no, I gotta remember, it's that now. Hello. Can't use the arrow keys on that anymore. It's kinda weird. Who are you? What do you know about the traders? Okay, um, trade items. See what I can trade from you. All he's willing to sell us is a shovel. This is new too. You can actually select stuff to trade for in like an inventory screen. Alright, well, I don't need anything from you then. I don't think we're gonna get anything more valuable than a knife for our javelins. And for that quest, I would rather not use a really nice item anyway. Are you 
the one I was just talking to? No, but you don't have much to trade either. I wonder why you can't use the arrow keys to cycle through those chat options anymore. Okay, well, doesn't look like we're getting anything here. Um, control zero. That is ha handy, actually, since I usually only use the full zoom and partial zoom anyway. Okay, there's a settlement over there. Drop, punt, and move it into the water. Goes over this way, I think. Yeah. What region are we in? Yeah, we're back in the um, so Tolis region. So this point does make traveling quite a bit easier. Oh, hey. Do we have a ritual? No. Okay, never mind. You have a bunch of food, a juniper bow, rod knife that I don't really care about. I like just a regular knife. Got two axes, but no knife. Well, he has a knife, but most of the time they won't trade their only knife with with you. Apparently, the way villages restock on items has changed too. I'm not sure how though. That's weird. I don't think you can afford it, but that's weird. It's also more possible to steal from villagers now, I've heard, but I don't want to piss these people off. Especially when there's a hunter right there with a bow and 13 arrows to shoot at us. Alright, well, Bob's hungry and so are we. Remember it's C now. Eat. And we'll eat too. Alright. You done eating? Yep. found any place with a knife yet, which is kind of disappointing. No. F3. Knife and a rope. I somewhat doubt he's willing to trade his knife, but I'll ask. Yep, just a rope. hunting knife and a broad knife. So you might actually be willing to sell us a knife. I'm Jennifer, who are you? 
Okay, Jerko. Jerko? I don't know. I, I'm not good with Finnish names. Hmm. Nothing. I think I need some more arrows, though. Just a few. Oh, they actually give you a better, like, idea of what you're off by. So, what, six? Deal. So he actually gave us an idea of what he was after, more so than you need a lot more. <laughs> That's nice. That was actually one of the most annoying parts about the trading system to me. It's just that they were so vague in how much you were off by. Looks like there's another one over here. of food. Four dried roaches? That seems like a waste. What do you have? Nothing really. It's a fine pot. You already have a pot though. We don't need another one. Spear. Spear would be nice, but I don't think we're going to be using one make javelins anyway. Those are good enough. <coughs> yeah, I actually don't mind using javelins. They're not like the best weapon around, but they're pretty decent. Very good for a weapon you can make yourself anyway. Here we're getting back into territory we've explored. Sort of. And we're back into no man's land. Okay, well, I think we're pretty close to home now. from here? Yes, I can. So I didn't need to. Ooh. Foreign traders. I'll check on what they have. Are you seriously alone? There's no way you're alone. No. Okay. His friends are up there. A battle sword. A mace and some leggings. Okay. I don't really care about that. I'm not about to fight the foreign traders. Ooh, bunny. We're too tired for the bunny, so it gets to leave. I'm not going to be able to chase down a rabbit right now. Speaking of, we actually had a rabbit get like hit by a car or something outside my house last night. We brought it to an emergency um, veterinary clinic, but we don't know what they did, what they were able to do with it. And back home. Oh, Bob. 
Let's get you back in your cage. Forgot I need to stand up. Unleash Bob. <laughs> Unleashing Bob. Just sounds funny to me. And sleep the night away. looking. Over a month, nearly two months, over a month, two months, month, Bob's hungry. Bob, you're literally standing on your food. Eat. Did he just eat on his own without me having to tell him to, and now he's grumpy because I'm trying to tell him to eat? Put that in there for now. So we have six arrows and two javelins. I'm going to drop the punt and paddle. Build the javelin in my offhand. Yeah, Bob can stay here. He's fine. I'm gonna check on this since we were out for a little while. Doesn't look like we got anything. Don't even see any tracks around, really. Oh, one other thing, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but apparently animals now, if you don't feed your dog and you bring it hunting with you, it can attack the animals that you kill and like tear apart their hides and eat them. Um, that was kind of weird. I don't know why I got teleported into the sheep pen. So can Bob actually cross over that. No. He needs me to guide him over it. Okay. That's actually good. I don't want him wa running away on his own. Okay, well. Kinda wanna see if we can find anything. like to get an elk or a stag or something. Getting close to 30 minutes though, so I might just cut it off here and next episode will probably be a more boring one. Less adventuring, more getting stuck in a tree? No. Less adventuring and more just making trade goods and stuff so we can get an, a metal weapon for that quest. Well, not necessarily a weapon. I think any metal tool will work, but I'd like to get a knife because they're fairly cheap and easy to come by, usually. I didn't actually see one today, which is weird. Normally you see knives pretty commonly. Hmm. Not seeing anything. Capper sale? Sure. I don't think we're going to be able to get this, and Bob's not going to be able to chase it in the air. Yeah, it 
it's too small to be worth chasing. Black grass is even smaller. We don't need small things. We need like large animals to stockpile for winter. There's nothing running around right now. Let's go home, Bob. Can search more to some other time. Unleash Bob. I guess I should make a couple more arrows. Oh, I don't have um my inferior cords with me. I think I'm going to cut it here. Not much happened this episode, but it's the first one of the beta. And you got to see the new towns and a little bit of the new trading setup. So yeah, I'm going to cut it here. See you next time, guys. Bye!